Hello there, and we are back today with video part two of the video where we can see if we can fire up a sodium lamp using a normal domestic strip light starter. Now, not all things go to plan. So, in fact, to tell you now, for you who said yes, you are wrong, we had nothing in there. It wouldn't fire or do anything. So, this just to prove, doesn't it, that what planned doesn't always happen. So, this is why we experiment, and that's what it's about, experimenting. I'm going back to the drawing board, and I'm going to look at this again, and see if I can design another circuit to get it going. Meanwhile, meanwhile, I'll show you the... Uh, the tray that I've, that I've built, which is here, I'll bring the camera around in a minute. Um, also, I've put on now a actual proper igniter, a Phillips igniter, so everything is working great. So we'll show you how that goes as well, and we'll have a look at the bulb going. So I'm going to move you, did you hear me say bulb? Now we're all rooming, aren't we? <laughs> right, now, it's going to be a bit shaky here because I'm in a bit of a tight space and trying to get everything in. Right now, this is this is the gear tray that I built. So you've got the starter there. You've got the lamp holder. You've got the ballast ballast there. Um, now this technically, fit, well, it should have worked, but it's not, which is not a problem. Could we go back? Now, if you think, if you look at this and you think there's something that should be somewhere, or if you've got an idea of a circuit to do this. Leave your comments below and we'll see if we can do it. Now, if you're not competent with electric, don't do this. Because if you put the wires the wrong way, well, you, this won't light up your light up. Okay? So anyway, I do it here, so to show you. But if you've got any, any thoughts on this, give us a shout. So, what we've done is we've actually put, I've put a, uh, I've put a Phillips igniter on. And uh, we can see here how the igniter is wired into the ballast. A lot of people will be very familiar with that. And here we are firing up the lamp, settling down, making a lovely sound, a lovely buzzing sound. There we go, so we'll see the lamp gradually get up to its full temperature. This is a 50 watt lamp, this one. Um, Thing is you can't really see the true color glow of it through the camera phone lens but it is glowing up quite nicely shouldn't really look into these things but without your glass and definitely never a metal halide lamp gives you archi and that's nasty and I have experienced that so basically the tray's been done I'm gonna play around with it again and I'll bring you some more videos in as soon as I get them uh, this is firing up lovely didn't know I had a had a uh, an SN57 igniter so it does shows yes sometimes you do need the correct equipment to fire these lamps uh, sometimes you don't you can get away with it what we need to do is we need to look at a self uh, ignited lamp with igniter inside um, I haven't got one of these actually spare but I will get one I should put a video out so you can see how the igniter in a lamp and self igniting lamp looks like one of these a strip light starter very very similar okay so we'll look at that in a future video as well but as far as the experiment went it didn't happen I shall go away I shall dabble around with a bit of thought and my pens and I shall design out another another circuit so to see if we can do now that is getting bright so I'm now going to switch that off <laughs> there we go so there we go it didn't work but never mind, we live to see another day and we'll get another video up as soon as we can with that one. So, for now, tatty buys, see you later.